Hello, my name is Jeroen van Beelen and I would like to tell you about Search and Share. First I will give you a summary of this presentation. Currently we experience an explosion of sharing initiatives around the world. For example look at wiser.org, in its archives you find over 80,000 of these initiatives. Search and Share aims at building a sharing economy on top of these initiatives. We do that by connecting them using an information standard. Once realized, we can build on top of this standard Search and Share. In Search and Share, you can enter your goal, and as a result, you get a planning how you can achieve your goal in the share economy. We will base the standard upon demo, which you can find in the, on the website ee-institute.org. The core of Search and Share consists of an algorithm that will need some heuristics. And these heuristics will be supplied by the community. Together, Search and Share, in fact, is a big data strategy. I have seven slides for you. In the first slide, I will explain you the theory that lies behind Search and Share. From this theory, I will derive a definition of share economy. Once defined, I will formulate a strategy how we can achieve this share economy. Demo will be at the core of search and share, so we will devote a separate slide to demo. Then we come to the core of search and share, which is its algorithm. Then I will describe the techniques that I would like to use to actually implement this algorithm. And I will end with an overview of the next steps. So first, the theory. What we are talking about is the resources of this planet and the way we transform them. We use some kind of a planning for that, and we don't do that at random, but we have all kinds of goals that we would like to achieve. Now, economy for me is about the transformation of these goals into a planning. When transforming our goals into a planning, we basically answer two questions. Namely, who does what, and who takes what. Now, my statement is, but the natural answer to these questions is given at the kitchen table. It's the way we do things at home. Namely, we answer both questions by supplying a balance. The natural answer to the question, who does what, is a balance between what I do and what we need. And the natural answer to the question, who takes what, is a balance between what I need and what I take. So the natural answers to the questions who does what and who takes what are I do what I can and I take what I need. Together these two answers form what I call the care principle. But in current economy, people tend to answer these questions in another way. Namely, I do the least and I take the most. This is what we call the market principle. Now obviously, these answers don't supply balances anymore and things are out of balance. Even so much that scarcity arises, and then we need another balance. This is the quid pro quo balance. It's the balance between what I do and what I take. This is why we swap. But when we use the care principle, we share. Let me explain that. So let us go back to our framework of goals, planning and resources. I propose to look at this from a unity perspective. Now, if there would be only one person, he would set himself some goals, devise a planning, and execute that planning. Now, if we are with a group of people acting in the same way, we would just share all our resources, we would share our labor, we would share our goals, and we would share our planning. Now, when we are sharing our goals, then in fact we implement solidarity. And obviously one of the goals that we will share is sustainability. Now I come to our strategy. In order to formulate a strategy, I make a distinction between the rules that you need to describe utopia and the rules that you need to adapt this utopia to humans. This allows me to break down the task at hand. So I start with people that exhibit ideal behavior, namely, they adhere to the care principle. Next, I assume these people cooperate according to an ideal process. So they set goals, they adjust the planning, and they execute it. And finally, I assume these people 
to communicate in an ideal way. When we make all these assumptions, it's very easy to describe what this share economy will look like, what this utopia will look like. So now we can start building up our share economy. The ideal communication is modeled using demo. I will come to that in the next slide. Now the ideal process is the search share algorithm. So now I switch from the left side of the arrow up to the right side of the arrow up. The left side of the arrow up is the still ideal situation. The right side of the arrow up is when I start implementing things in the real world. So the first thing that we implement in the real world is the search and share algorithm. It still assumes people behave ideally. People use the care principle. So the last step to make this search and share work in the real world is that we have to cater for people that are not behaving ideally. And to do that, we have to canalize trust. This is what the myriad of initiatives in the world is currently doing. They are all designing a utopia and at the same time adapting this utopia to humans by canalizing trust in some way or other. So now let me explain you a bit about demo. Demo is a full-fledged theory with a methodology to it and a visualization. I will not go into all of that, but I, would, but I will tell you the core idea of demo. It is about interaction between people. So there are like at least two people involved. The one we call the initiator and the other we call executor. And what we're looking at is how they interact. The main statement of demo is that all organization can eventually be broken down into elementary steps called transactions, demo transactions. A demo transaction follows the following pattern. It starts with an order phase, then there's an execution phase, and finally there's a result phase. It works like this. It starts when the initiator desires some result. He can actually request this result from the executor, and once this result has been requested, the executor can then promise to deliver the result. Once he has promised the result, he can then execute the result, and once it has been produced, he can state that he has produced the result. Once he has stated his result, the initiator can accept the result, and when the result has been accepted, the cycle is finished. This pattern is called a demo transaction, and the statement is that all organization can eventually be broken down into elementary steps of this form. Now we come to our algorithm. Now in current economy, we use value to facilitate swapping. And most importantly, it allows for swapping through time. So now what can we learn from this for the share economy? Because when we share, we already share through time. But the most important thing is that we still have to connect all these shares into a vibrant economy. Now the core of certain share is based upon a planning. Here's our timeline. It goes from past through present to the future. And what we want to do is we want to record everything that we do and we want to use demo for that. So once we have recorded all our actions in terms of demo transactions, we can start looking for goals that have been achieved. So search and share will look for patterns of demo transactions that achieve goals. Here are the techniques that I want to use to implement search and share. As I already noted, I want to build everything upon demo, which you can find at ee-institute.org, where EE stands for Enterprise Engineering. Goal functions are not present in demo, so I would like to add them. The data produced will be stored in an anchor model, which allows for flexibility. Next, I would like to use fuzzy logic to identify microformats in natural language communication, and thus recognize patterns. And finally, the search and share algorithm will be NP-complete. So we will need to supply heuristics. And my idea is to let the community supply the heuristics. I want to end with the next steps. I already constructed a simulation that we can play. It is a board game that shows you how the search and share algorithm works. The next step is to find an existing sharing group where we can test a sandbox version. Then we can start the implementation of search and share and we will start by implementing goal functions just by asking the goal owners. So if somebody submitted the goal, we can ask, has your goal been achieved or not? So we don't make all kinds of calculations, we just ask the person. 
And then we come to the part where we embed the certain share into the real world. This is where we have to organize trust. And like I said, there are many ways of organizing trust. So you're invited to connect your trust scheme. And finally, we start with the observation of all these sharing sites that pop up. So now I expect them to open up their APIs so that we can actually connect. Thank you.